you now. So, again, um, it's ask, the Ask Greg question. Uh, and so we're going to ask the crew because um, Bishop is not here. Mm -hmm. So, no, Bishop, yeah. So you want to read it? Read. Sure. No. Yeah, I was gonna say, say read. I want to feel. What's the text? Yeah, no. Yesterday was Sunday, so I want to feel like you know I still got the, the church on me. But the question is this: It says I really like the guy that I've been dating for the past four months. We'll call him Jamal. As a matter of fact, I think I love him. In fact, I know that I do. Well, when we went on our last date, I told him how I felt, and I also told him I wanted to be in an exclusive relationship with him. He seemed flattered, and he told me that he had feelings for me, too. However, he said he wasn't ready to be in an exclusive relationship just yet. I was crushed, to say the least. He tried to reassure me by saying that he really cared for me, and he enjoyed spending time with me. But he wasn't quite where I was yet. I was humiliated, to say the least. And after the date, I told him that I didn't think it was going to work. He told me that he wanted to continue seeing me, and he was interested in seeing where our relationship might go one day. I feel like, at this point, he should know whether or not he wants to be with me. My best friend told me I'm tripping and to enjoy the ride, since I enjoy his company. Jamal <clears throat> says that I'm putting pressure on him and that I don't respect his honesty. We've never been intimate, though I'm ready, because he says he wants to get to know me better for, and for it to be special. I feel like he's leading me on or isn't serious about wanting to be in a committed relationship. Greg, what should I do? Am I rushing things or blowing things out of proportion? I really like him, and I could easily see myself with him for the rest of my life. Help. <laughs> Tony, what say ye? Well. It's a lot going on here. It's a lot going on. Um, and, and what you got to think about is, uh, well, do labels matter? Or should it go organically with the flow? Ooh, I like mm. Also, are you worthy of being in a relationship? And nine times out of ten, as a guy, if they don't rush the relationship along, they probably figure they can do better. Ooh. Mm. I never thought about that, Tony. Okay. Yeah, you just, you transition, girl. Okay. So, four months they've been dating. Uh, they go out. She says, you know, I love him. No, she first says, I think I love him. Then she says, I know I love him. And uh, she goes on to talk about that she wants to be in an exclusive, committed relationship. Um, and he basically says, uh, that that's not about to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Pump won't. your brakes, mm -hmm. honey. And she goes on to say, so she, I guess she does, she believes, that, what is it, Steve Harvey has a 90-day rule? Mm -hmm. So yeah. this has been longer than 90 days. This is like 120. Mm -hmm. And she says she's really... <laughs> Somebody well, said Danny. So, funny. so I mean, it's, wait, wait, wait. With, with the whole she ninety day she, thing, she well, okay. she said this is four months in, and yeah. she said she's ready to be intimate. Okay, and he okay. says no. I want to get to know you better. I want to get to know you better. Uh, um, I'm on the fence with this. This is a bit. Yeah. I'm on the fence with it because I think that, like my mother would say, there's six in one hand and half a dozen in another. Part of me says <laughs> to go with what he's saying. Because a lot of times some guys want to rush and sleep with you because they just want to sleep with you and mm. they don't really want to build anything. And then part of me is saying, uh, in four months, if you guys are going out and you're having feelings for each other, he should know by now. Yeah, if he's turning it down. So I'm kind of like, eh, you know. If it, if he had four months. And he's turning it down. <laughs> he's turning it down. Yeah. <laughs> and he uh, don't want to be in a relationship want. either. Uh, I well, don't know. Um, <laughs> Somebody asked, uh, yes, she did say she wanted to be intimate. I need you guys to listen to the letter when the letter is being read. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Just pay attention. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I think there's someone else. Ooh. Yeah, nine times out of I ten. I think he's trying to wait how this yeah. other situation, see how this other situation is going to go down. She is definitely plan B. She is not plan A. That's just my thoughts. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, and that's what it comes down to. Most guys won't just say, hey, I got a chick for that. A chick, a chick for that. Yeah, I got a chick for that. I got a chick for a relationship. I like when macaroni Tony, <laughs> the macaroni peeps his head in every once in a while. I like that. He's like, yeah, I got another chick for that. Yeah, when she asked but you in other news. to be in a relationship, <laughs> you, that's what that's the response. Oh, yeah, I got another chick for that. But, it's cool. But at the same time, could he really be trying to get to know her? He could be. 
You know, he could be that could one. Be genuine. He could be that one special guy that wants to build mm -hmm. something. It's a possibility. And he's really upholding his Christian values. It's a possibility. You hear me? I keep saying it's a possibility. It, and that's what it comes down to. Is there a time limit you. on how soon a man should step up to the plate? Uh, what do you mean by step up to the plate, Tony? By, well, not step up to the plate in locking them down for good. Commitment. About, not about just like just commitment in general. Co okay. What's the time frame? Do you, I'm, do you feel? I don't what? feel there's ever a time frame. Um, I think a guy usually knows. Oh, yeah. They um, know when they want you. But at the same time, it takes about nine years to get to know a woman anyway. Did nine you say years? nine years? <laughs> yeah, that's when you realize. Okay, we you know, want hey, you to call in on she this. She ain't as crazy as I thought. <laughs> call in on this, 313-209-9000. Give us your thoughts. Give us your opinion about this, this particular um, letter, I think, I, I just really do, just my opinion, just from life, just from seeing life, oh. there's, it, nine times out of ten, there's somebody else. Mm. Yeah. That's just how I feel. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh, now I've got some comments on Facebook Live. Okay, um, Della says they need to talk about it so it can be no more guessing. And Tiffany says he could be on the DL. Ooh. Oh, she done went all you the way went, out you there. Went, but, but, but she's right, though, because there are a lot of guys that wow. straddle the fence. This is true. And you don't know. That, that was good. Um, you don't know these days. You really don't know. Um, there are people that live double lives. They are. You know, and then there are people who are just, he, he, and he could be genuinely really trying to build something with her. He could. Or he could have another girl for you Yeah. Know, you, you know, like like I said, said, what did you say? He got another chick for that. He got another chick for that. This could go so many ways. So it can go, and so are there. There are people, not just not just guys, but people who have different people for different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and so uh, maybe this is maybe you're right. Maybe this is one of those situations. So what about he says, I like to go out to eat mm -hmm. with you. I like to go to the movies with you. But this part over here, that we're not doing that. I don't want. I don't want to go mm -hmm. this way with you mm -hmm. because I'm already doing this over here with this person. Yeah. Yeah. And My wife take care of that. <laughs> Oh, Tony. Boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow! That's, and that's just the reality of it. No, you're sometimes. right. That's just the reality. of he it. He could sometimes. be married. He very well could be married. I I didn't think about it. He could be on the DL. He could be married. Or she could just not be that cute. Or she's just not, not that right. cute. You because just to see his face. Listen, listen, like listen. She might not be that cute. Well, like cute women don't have this trouble. Somebody I, always I try to. I don't think that's true. No, I, uh -huh, I disagree. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know oh, if that's well, true. Cute people have problems just like ugly people. Oh like really? Ugly you think so? So let's yes. let's say let's say uh, let's see here. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Rihanna doesn't. It, she's probably always walking around like, man, why will these guys, you know, leave me alone? Why do they just? They always want to be in a relationship to whereas Whoopi Goldberg, like, <laughs> oh no, these brothers ain't. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, t let me tell you what the difference is. This, they is, this is my nothing. opinion. This guy. I think because people are visual, men are visual, I think Absolutely. a more attractive woman will maybe draw a man and then he'll find out that she may not be the material or what he wanted and she's going to be a person that's always dating somebody different all the time. Mm -hmm. I think that would be another problem. It's, it's problems, but they're different problems. The woman that's um, not as attractive, it may be harder for her to get a guy because of the visual um, and you know th that may be her issue, but the cute girl can attract the guy. But once he gets to know her and they have a conversation, it's gonna be like, man, she always with somebody different. Then, yeah. And you can put up with that. Who? No, oh, well, guys. no, no. Oh, you mean as far as uh, I I'm talking about, you can put up with the looks as long as as long as you no, look good. Typically, a lot of it guys depends, can put up with it. It depends on what you're looking for. People who just you know, you never really see them settled with anybody. Uh -huh. A lot of times, it, it, there's a lot of factors into that. You know, it could be them. It could be that they're picking the wrong people. It could be that maybe they don't want to settle down. So, you know, people, depending on, I just think it's different factors why people, you know, could have problems. It, it could be, we don't know if this girl is cute and not cute, like you said, and he doesn't want her because she's cute. She could not be it could be something that he's seeing in her that he's not really sure about and he mm. wants to take a little bit more time to get to know her. Or he may know he doesn't want her and he just does I, I it's just oh goodness, it's a lot. And so what about the person who who is still trying to figure it out? They're 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 waiting they're waiting 
how how again how long do you wait what are you what what is the specific thing that you're looking for to say and eh, i i we can't go any further for real i mean how long and so on one end of the spectrum i feel where she's coming from mm -hmm. um to say how long are we going to keep going out right and and having fun together I enjoy your company. You you say you enjoy mine, but then we're not going to commit. It's four months long enough. You were, yeah, that's a question too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would commit to somebody after four months. I know that I would tell them, hey, you know, I really like you. I think we have potential to go somewhere. Um, I'm going to kind of chill with some other things. Let's just spend a little bit more time together to see what we want to do. I don't know if I would necessarily say, I don't want anybody else in this world but you. Mm. I don't know. You right. know the name. Thank you. Yeah. Because I'm going to give you a scenario. When I met my husband, um, we really liked each other. But did we say there's nobody else in the world that we want but each other no mm -hmm. we didn't say that but we identified that we really liked each other mm -hmm. and we said you know what we like each other let's see where this goes mm -hmm. whatever he was doing and whatever i was doing i don't so long ago i don't even remember but but y'all kept doing what y'all were doing until you made some type of conscious decision to say that this, yeah, is, this but, is it. But it wasn't within four months' time. You just wait because you remember in the very beginning, you're putting your best foot forward. Mm -hmm. You know, everything, you're doing everything. See some consistency. Right, you're crossing all your T's, you're dotting all your I's to make sure. And then later on, when you start to see, you know, I, I believe you need to see a person in a very sad situation. You need to see them in a very happy situation. You need to see them deal with trauma. You need to see them, how they handle money. You need to see all these scenarios with that person before you lock it down and say, you know what? This person can deal with the upset life. the down life. Like yeah. I said, Because if it's years. just y'all going out and kicking and going to the show and all that and it's years. perfect, you don't see that real person. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and have somebody, to see that person uh, angry. You yeah, know? Absolutely. There's a pastor who, who says that he recommends that you date somebody for a whole year. Absolutely. Because you get to see that's a whole complete cycle yes. of season. Yes. And there are so many different things that will happen in that person's life over a 12-month yes. time span. Mm -hmm. And so if you date that person for 12 months, or are you around that person for 12 months and you get to see all those different um, ups and downs in their life, yeah. um, then you can make a better judgment call as to if this is the person that you want to spend the rest of your life Absolutely. with. Is their temperament. And so I was talking to somebody yesterday about temperament and about um, being a mature person. Mm -hmm. And this person has been angry since Monday. And we are now at, at Sunday. We are six days. This is six days later. And you're still acting like a child saying, I, oh, no, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, no. And then if I don't text you, then you text me talking about you not checking in. Well, I don't know I needed to check in because you said you don't want to talk to me. So I said you're seeing a side of him that may not be something you want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm telling you. you well, you? and see, that goes down to the whole commitment thing. Because some guys feel like when they get committed, it, they're, they lose some of their freedom. Gotcha. Yes, I get that. Like, Absolutely. It's some females that feel that uh -huh. way. Because like you go from being able to do everything you want to do at any point in time to having to tell her when you take it out the trash. See, I don't agree with that. <laughs> in a committed relationship... You'll think about it until you take the trash out. Did you I, say, wait I, a minute, did I just tell I'm her? I'm not looking for somebody to tell me that I every move. to take out the trash? Because I'm not yeah. trying to tell you my every move. So I'm not looking for you to tell me your every move. Uh, some so people do. If, if that be uh, the case, then you're insecure and you need to really find yourself. Typically, the reason why women want to be committed is because they want to tell us what to do. See, you're Ooh, taking this a whole Tony, you're going in a, you so, know, that's not the ask red letter. So what is the, what, what do we say? <laughs> what does she need to do, Beth? I think she needs to set a time frame. It's been four months. And I don't think she needs to break up with him and say this is not going to work because initially she just said she loves him and she really likes him. And they had, it seems that they had a civilized adult conversation and talked about it. She told him how he, she felt. He told her how he felt. They didn't agree. So she's showing some immaturity there because he's not giving her exactly what she wants when right she now. Wants she's it. like, well, forget it. That's mm -hmm. being very immature. Huh? Tony, you say she, she knows what she wants. If she, she hit the road. Leave I say people. she could still be cool with him yeah. mm -hmm. and give him, yeah, see other people. She gotcha. can, she give him a chance to 
But set a deadline. Don't let it drag on. Say, you know what? It's been four months. Well, by that time, somebody months. else might come along and, and swoop her up. Yeah. And well, it says her best friend says that she's tripping and enjoyed the ride yeah. since since you enjoy his company. So I think she, I agree that she should kind of see what happens over the course of time. Set a time frame within her head. And if it don't work, if, you know, if he's not ready, he's not ready and you move on. I'm curious about how old they are as well. That, yeah, that, that will because be a Because it depends now. If, now, if they're young and they're in their 20s, I would say enjoy the ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you're you 40, get older, yeah. And it's, I would say, uh, that, that other, does make yep, a difference. The age does make a difference as well because, you know, we got them and so there you have it guys this has been the Monday edition of the Greg Davis show on 910 AM yeah. Superstation the voice of Detroit we are getting out of here we want everybody to enjoy your Monday make it make it worth it do something uh, to enjoy life uh, and so we're out of here we'll Go be back, back tomorrow and we say good morning again to the bishop Bro. we are out of here this is Dana D you can reach me uh, on all social media at Dana D Barry Beth Griffith Entertainment Tony Macon, also known as Barco 300. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Bye.